What's up, everybody? This is Classic Tycoon here, and we're back for episode 13 of the Million Dollar Mission, season 2. Um, in the last one, we built the uh, dinghy slide here, and that is up and running, going well. Um, checking out the cash, we're, uh, we're sitting at about um, $125,000. So, you know, a little over 10% of our goal. 12.5% of our goal to be, um, be exact, and yeah, we're uh, we're doing pretty well. It'd be nice if we could somehow bump up the speed of this a little bit, but I I don't see that happening. Um, it is raining right now, so you can see we're getting some pretty good shop sales going up uh, from the umbrellas, which is nice, and that helps out a lot. I did a couple of little things off camera, uh, mainly I just fixed a bunch of the benches and I honestly think that's that's all I did, I kind of just went through, I, I'm going to have to do that once in a while, just sweep through and fix benches because um, the guests like to break them because it's so crowded in the park. Uh, um, but yeah, it definitely helps with the shops uh, when it's raining because the guests don't go on the rides and yeah so I have all this space over here I'm deciding what I want to do um, for today's episode it would be nice to be able to try and fit something underneath the wooden roller coaster I don't know um, I'm not going to do that today but let me know what you guys think if you have any suggestions of something I could build to kind of intertwine with the wooden roller coaster um, something that would fit under there. It, it's, I mean, that roller coaster takes up so much space. It'd be nice to fit something else in there. Um, another thing I would like to do is build some more souvenirs, but I don't think we have any souvenir stalls. I think all that's available are balloons so we'll probably put in why don't we put in another balloon stall over here um, this would be a pretty good spot there are lots of guests flowing through right here um, since we connected those pathways to the entrance and see how many guests are going through and there's a couple roller coasters right there so guests will be really happy coming off of those roller coasters and that will uh, urge them to buy some balloons so we'll put those in there change up the color and then open it up for business. So you can see already guests are buying plenty of balloons right there. So that will hopefully help us out. You know, every little bit, every little bit counts. Um, our guest count, we're at 1,300 right now. That has been you know, going up steadily, uh, but very slowly for sure. Obviously, we're, we're just constantly losing guests because this park's a, it's an expensive park. And the guests are only going to come in, ride a few rides, uh, we'll make some money off them, and then they'll, they'll just leave. So, um, building a roller coaster. I think I will build a roller coaster today. I'm also thinking about doing you know, something else, doing a maze, probably. Um, the thing about that is just finding a spot. We've got a couple other rides. You know, we got those boats. I'd like to do the rowboats, but um, we'll have to wait until we're over in that in the section where there's that miniature lake over there or pond, whatever you want to call it. It'd be nice to put in a miniature railroad um, or a ski lift, but it's just I just don't see the space for it. Now, I'm also kind of looking for a space to put a maze in. But, I mean, we have really just filled this park up. I mean, there's just nowhere to put in any rides. Maybe underneath the, uh, the two looping roller coasters there, Aftershock and Tsunami. I don't know. Definitely don't want to um, go over there yet. I, I want to 
you know, save that space as long as I possibly can. I'm not sure what I'll put in over there, but we gotta really make use of this space as much as, much as we possibly can. Um, looking at the steeplechase, you know, the, the problem with the steeplechase is how much space it takes up, and that's gonna be the same for the, uh, I can't remember what that other one was called, the, the ninja type ride, but I think I'm gonna put in a Virginia reel, because that's gonna be, you know, similar to the wooden wow mouse, um, nice and compact. I grabbed this wheelie reel, the, uh, the pre-build one. I'm not gonna build that. I'm just kinda um, looking around at, at how much space this is gonna take up. That gives me an idea, and then I'll build uh, a, my own design. And it's gonna be very wi uh, Wild Mouse-esque. Okay, but yeah, let's go ahead and start building this one. I don't think I've ever built a Virginia reel. Maybe I did in the original Million Dollar Mission series. I'm not sure. Since our marketing campaigns are are uh, up now, so we're we're gonna fill those back up. Just constantly keep those going. But yeah, I can't remember if I built one of these in the original million dollar mission series or not we'll just uh we'll kind of just watch me build this i mean it's pretty it's pretty straightforward again i'm just building it pretty much how i would build any wild mouse just a lot less options. You don't have any steep hills or anything, or really no special options on this on this ride. You can see I've got that kind of weaving wild mouse look. Hopefully they won't be going too fast through here. I doubt that will be too much of a problem. And you're not going to have really any vertical or lateral G problems on a ride like this. The uh, the carts do spin around, which can be very helpful with that. All right, let's watch the test. Made it through just fine. Didn't seem like it was going too fast or anything. We'll check out um, our ratings as well. Just give it a second here. Hopefully it'll pop up. All right, there we go. 5.49, 5.65, 6.09. So you can see the nausea rating is the highest one, which makes sense because it's so spinny i think that's the idea of the virginia reels so we're gonna have to keep an eye on our nauseous guest um over here we might have to assign a handyman over here or something but we'll, we'll see what happens so putting in the pathways um and then we'll open it up for business go ahead and give me um a name for that one i also haven't picked a name for the dinghy slide yet so if you guys want to suggest some stuff for that uh have at it in the comments we got a little bit of space right here underneath the two looping roller coasters. Maybe we'll put in a maze right there. And the next one, you can see guests are still complaining about the vandalism in the park. You know, what can you do? <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, uh, I go through and fix everything, but, you know, they're just going to break it again. And I don't want to spend the money on security guards for sure. That is kind of. You're not really getting your investment back much. 
with them. Um, you can see the guests are complaining, but our guest or our park rating is 9.99, so it's not. It can't be that bad, right? Um, as long as it's not affecting our park rating too much, so we're still attracting guests um, at a uh, high rate with that park rating. I'm okay with it. You can see now um, the guests, they're, they're going into the Virginia Wheel line, but some of them just, they just can't afford it. You know, the Virginia Wheel, it's, it's now pretty deep in the park, so a lot of the guests, you know, unless they walk over there first thing, which the marketing campaign will, will help out with that, um, but unless they walk over there first thing, it, it's going to be hard for them to have enough money to go on it because they have so many other rides to go on that are expensive. But we're going to keep up the ride costs so that we keep, you know, getting guests in the park. Now, this is a huge park, by the way. I really wish um, they would have let us expand out on this when they made, you know, their RCT Classic. Because it's too bad, like, uh, there's so much potential space um, that you could buy and fill it up, but they, they only give you a little bit. I guess they didn't assume that somebody would be um, shooting for a $1 million park <laughs> in Forest Frontiers. All right, guys, that is today's episode. Um, we'll just look through the finances a little bit to finish up this one. Give me a name for that Virginia Reel. Let me know what you think about the series. And we're going to keep going um, until we're at that million dollar mark. And it uh, hopefully it speeds up a little bit here. We're, uh, we're running out of room, but you know, it's all right. We'll figure it out. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.